Alright everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back to another glorious Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. Oh my goodness, what a time to be alive, people. We get to play Black Ops Cold Snore. Oh man, it's so much fun. This game's amazing. Everybody make sure you hit that like button, man. Drop a like on the video for Black Ops Cold Snore. Oh man, the, one of the most fun most exciting games ever and uh you know fellas just when i thought the game couldn't get any better uh treyarch went ahead and added one of my favorite score streaks of all time the vsat the blackbird uh the harp baby <laughs> the hater it's it's got many names over the years but it does the same thing you open up the bag of chips there you go open up the chips and the chips come out the bag except in this case the bag was empty <laughs> there's no chips where's my doritos damn it Oh, let's see his cool ranch. Where's the spicy ranch? I'm checking the scoreboard. I'm like, yo, did everybody leave? Like, nah. I'm getting harp assist points. Where is my Dorito chips, Treyarch? <laughs> There's not a cool ranch running around here. It turns out, fellas, that there is a plethora of hard counters to the harp. And my homie exclusive ace is going to tell us all about it. So the first part here is if you have a jammer field upgrade and the enemy calls a harp in... Any one of your teammates that have entered the radius of your jammer at any point in their current life, they will not show up on the harp. So even if you had this jammer called in a while ago and you put it in your spawn, a teammate spawns next to your jammer and then they run out of that area and they end up on the opposite end of the map without dying, that player won't be showing up when the enemy calls a harp in. Also, if the enemies already have a harp active and then you place a jammer down, it has the same effect. You and all of your teammates that enter the radius of that jammer will be completely hidden from that harp until you die and respawn. Even if you don't stay within the radius of that jammer. And I think that's where the biggest issue lies here. It's not the fact that the jammer will hide you while the harp is active if you're standing within the radius of it. It's the fact that you just have to touch the radius once in that lifetime and it will protect you all over the map from that harp. Wow, Treyarch, really? The jammer counters the harp now? And you don't even have to stay in the jammer radius. You're just gonna run through it and you got blanket immunity <laughs> no matter where you go on the map. Shout out to exclusive Ace, man, for breaking it all down for me because, man, I was confused. I will link his video down in the description. Be sure to check him out, Ace, an awesome YouTuber. And look at that pass right there, son. Just like Brady the Gronk, oh my goodness. Brady going back to the Super Bowl again, man. The GOAT. <laughs> the GOAT. <laughs> oh, my God. I got the gas face. They were running third base pro. <laughs> anyway, man. Tony, I'm confused, bro. You told me that there would be nothing that countered the VSAT. Remember? Average. Uh, there should also be a new score streak that's coming midseason. Uh, Tony, would you like to tell us a little bit more about the harp? Sure. We think players might just like this, especially the longtime hardcore players. Uh this is the score streak, the harp, the high altitude recon plane. This is a high level score streak. You call it in and it's going to tell you where all the enemies are. Um, it's going to show you where they are on the mini map. It's going to show the direction they're facing. There's no counter for it because it's a high level score streak uh, other than to shoot it down. <laughs> There's no counter to it other than to shoot it down. I mean, bro, listen. And I'm not trying to take a, a, a shot at Tony Flame here, man. Tony, much love, much respect, bro. Uh, uh, listen, I know he's a developer. He should know how the score streaks work. I mean, he made the game. <laughs> I mean, he should know. He should know what's up. Somebody sabotaged the heart, man. Tony, someone's messing with you, bro. Activision sent in some of them goons to mess with the programming, man. They're trying to protect the cash cow noobs, Tony. Oh, how are you going to do my boy Tony like that, Activision? Oh my goodness, Bobby Cody, what you doing, man? Leave Tony Flame alone. He's a good dude, man. He trying to give us a V-Sack. Why are you going to go do it? I'm like, oh my God. The Jammer, bro. <laughs> the Jammer. Yo, a funny tweet I got here from one of my followers, man. And he pretty much laid it all out, man. He's like a hostile gamer. He's like, yeah, the Jammer does counter it. And the worst part is any team member runs through it. They are immune to the harp. The harp is trash. Pretty much exactly like Exclusive Ace said. So, yeah, guys, the uh, the jammer is a pretty good piece of equipment right now, fellas. You might as well run the jammer, man. Protect you from spy plane. Protect you from the, the harp. <laughs> I miss the good old days, guys. When you call in a blackbird, man, and there was nothing you could do about it. If you didn't have a counter spy plane, you were screwed. <laughs> you were just going to get owned, man. 
oh, I miss those days. Now you could shoot the VSAT down. Now you could air patrol it out of the sky. You could put the jammer down. It went from having no counters to pretty much everything can counter it. I'm pretty sure if you farted, the fart cloud would hide the uh, VSAT. So, well, the harp. I keep calling that thing the VSAT. I, they should just leave it as the VSAT, man. Why do they keep changing the name, bro? It does the same thing in every game. Well, it used to. <laughs> the VSAT ain't the same, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, this noob tube, fellas. I'm telling you, man. Thank goodness this uh, score streak is in the game. Because <laughs> it's the only thing that's fun now that they've taken the VSAT away from me. I can't even run the VSAT anymore. What's the point? I mean, every time I called in, I already get anxiety that somebody is going to air patrol it out the sky. Now, look. Now my teammates got the jammer down. Look at this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, get on, son. Yo, the jammer is the most OP gear in this game. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, spawn protection, man. I got to get out of there. See? Now, if this game didn't have spawn protection, I would be running right up in that spawn, blowing everybody up. But now I kind of got to hang back. You know what I'm saying? And uh, kind of got to hang back a little bit. Oh, I should have got even more kills. Let's see what the score is here, fellas. I, I got a lot of kills this game, man. I'm excited to see the scoreboard. I can't wait. And look at this dude right here with the Mac 10. I gotta try this SMG out, man. This looks pretty good. And, uh. <laughs> oh, yes, Max. Uh, damn, he cracked his jaw. All right, all right. Come on, man. I wanna see the scoreboard. How many kills did I get? Come on, man. Scoreboard. 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 They never showed it, guys. They never showed it. They never showed the scoreboard. <laughs> they never showed the scoreboard. Anyway, Treyarch, I hope that's just some kind of bug. I mean,. I know people be like, yo, how does this get past the playtesters, man? How does running through the jammer make you immune from the harp for the entire game? And listen, it, it's more than just the entire game because when these dudes died and, and respawned, they still didn't show up. So it, it's immunity for, forever, man. It's not just until you die. <laughs> when you respawn, you still have immunity from the harp. So the harp is garbage right now. Uh, pretty much the only streak worth running in this game is that damn noob tube and even that is kind of a nerf because of the spawn protection from explosives uh, I'm telling you man these noobs got it made bro <laughs> these noobs got it made Activision has done everything to protect these guys hopefully it's just some stupid glitch but if the jammer really does protect you from the harp for the entire game uh, no one I haven't seen anyone from Treyarch come out and say they're working on fixing it I don't know maybe they have and I missed it but is, is that it? Is, is the jammer supposed to counter the uh, hard counter to the harp after Tony Flame came out here and said, Oh, the harp's a high-end score streak, man. Nothing counters it. But then everything counters it. Activision trying to protect the cash cow noobs. They had to pull up on Tony Flame with the goons. Be like, Tony, man, check yourself, man. What's all this noise about nothing counters the harp? No, hell no. Everything's going to counter it, Tony. Everything's going to counter it. <laughs> what do you guys think about all this nonsense, man? Drop it down in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.